There's a new orthodontist in town. Hi, everybody. We are on location at Charleston Orthodontic Specialist here in Somerville, and I'm excited to introduce you to this guy right here, Dr. Nick Savastano. He's been providing patients care with care since 2003. He was rated one of the top orthodontists in Orlando, and now he's here in the Low Country. So we're so excited uh, to be out here, and he also joins <clears throat> us with Chelsea Scott to tell us more. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Thanks very, for having us. Very impressive resume. So you moved to Charleston. You're excited to be here? Excited to be here. We have four little kids. We just got unpacked and we got our practice rolling. Good. No place like the low country. So diving right in, I was most shocked to learn that mm. children nowadays have to have their first appointment with you around age seven. Why is that? Well, ideally we'd want to see them around age seven okay. because at this time there's a lot of skeletal and dental changes that take place. And by us seeing them a little bit early, we can intercept those issues and we can do early treatment if needed. Okay, so the earlier the better is what you've learned. Well, age seven is usually the earliest we want to see them. We don't really need to see them much earlier okay. than that. So I told you I have a brand new seven-year-old turning seven right now. So <laughs> kind of walk me through the process. If you book an appointment here, what do you guys do in that first initial assessment? The first visit, um, we'll take photos and x-rays on the patient, and Dr. Savasano will do an exam. During that exam, we'll talk about different treatment options, the length of treatment, um, as well as their different financial options that are custom for the, what their patients needs. Okay, and I know, you know, my seven-year-old is still losing her baby teeth. You can still, that doesn't matter? Well, if they have skeletal issues that okay. need to be addressed, which are usually due to improper growth of the jaws, seeing the child at age seven, eight, or nine is best so we can take advantage of that jaw growth. Okay, and what are some of the things that, <clears throat> as a parent, we should be looking for? Signs that, yep, we need to see the orthodontist, something needs to be done. We have a laundry list, for instance, crowded teeth, misplaced teeth on a young child, teeth that are coming out early or maybe haven't fallen out yet. If the patient is a mouth breather, sucks their thumb, maybe the jaw is a little bit too far forward, a little bit too far back, or even shifted, those are all indications we, we should see them early. Okay. I know a lot of people are like, uh-oh, <laughs> I think I might have that at home. Um, Chelsea, I want to ask you, I had braces a long time ago, but things certainly have changed. How is it different now with new technology? Um, well, things are a lot more comfortable for the patient, I'd say, um, as far as the gooey molds that we used to take. Um, we now have a 3D scanner that takes images in the mouth. It's a simple scan, a wand that we wave around. We send that off to the lab. It's um, all digital, and that's what they use to make your different retainers and appliances. Um, we also, the brackets themselves and the wires are a lot lighter, so it's a lot less weight in your mouth. Um, and then it's a lot funner for the patients. It's, as far as the kids go, um, they can personalize their braces. We have different uh, types of brackets in our office. We have different mascot brackets, uh, Clemson and USC. Dr. Savasano is the exclusive provider in our area for that. Um, and then they can get fun with different flower brackets, diamond brackets, heart-shaped ones, footballs, all that good stuff. You've kind of made braces like cool and chic. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much for having thank us you. out we here. Really Such it. a pleasure to thank be here. You. Charleston Orthodontic Special us right here in Somerville, right next to Earth Fair. You can't miss them. And we've got much more Low Country Live right after this.